Bookchin. I've been working with Murray Bookchin for a number of years, <laughs> and um, and especially was act was pretty active in in Burlington politics for a number of years. And to me, I mean, I'm talking about mostly Murray's ideas about libertarian mu municipalism. But to me, the most important point is that we require system change. I mean, when we look around us, we have both capitalism and the nation state, the nation state and the nation states doing what they do. So we have this totally immense system which is set up in such a way that it's it very difficult to change it and, and, and what do you do or how do you change it? I mean, the, the, the kind of revolutions that have been tried before haven't worked. Electoral politics, we've just had an example of it right in front of us right now, doesn't work. So the question is what, what you know, one of Murray's definitions of, of the nation state, you know, design, the nation state is designed to dominate and facilitate the exploitation of citizenry in the interest of a privileged class. So what are you going to do to somehow do some kind of system change? And, 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 and what is more, what becomes apparent is that if you want to start this thing, you kind of have to start on the most basic, what should I say, cellular level that you can start on to institute the beginnings of a different system, and that is to start on the municipal level, to start on the town level, the city level, the village level, and to begin to institute a different society on the, the more local level. Um, putting in place what could be the beginnings of the building of a society, which means putting in place not only the many things, but certainly to begin with democracy, to put in place democ real democracy on a local level, which means that you don't have representative democracies, because the representatives certainly don't represent us. Whatever they're doing, they're, they're doing it for themselves. So we start with democracy and we start with, well, some, some form of community town meetings where people can get together and make up and represent themselves and make up their minds about what they, the manner in which the, they want the town to function. And then the next thing to do is to begin to get the city, the municipality, not only functioning democratically to do what it needs to do to institute a new society, but begin to put into place the material things that it needs to institute a, a, a new society. And I mean, one very happy thing that's happening is uh, local food production where localities are beginning to produce their own food. So that's the beginning of a possibility of, a, of, of an economic system. And then it can go further where you can begin to institute different economic facilities within the cities to kind of start these, these building blocks which eventually can form building blocks to confederate with each other and, and, and begin to form a different society. At the end of the 60s, you know, the question was why, why didn't some kind of radical change happen at the end of the 60s? It's because nothing was set up to allow the radical change to happen. If, if, they had tr if we had tried to do radical change in the 60s, it, it, it would have been some kind of top-down management which, which wouldn't have worked. But now, a certain kind of infrastructure is already <coughs> beginning to be formed and it's that, that that is almost the only thing that, that, as I see, that we can begin to build on to build a totally changed, non-capitalist society, which is where all the problems are coming from. So I've been pretty active in, you know, throughout the years I've been pretty active in Burlington politics. When we 
uh, tried to institute these democratic changes and, and economic changes where we, we try to have Burlington be in charge. What, like right now, there's a Burlington Telecom which gives us our you know, communication possibilities. So beginning in um, 87, we formed a green group, or the green group formed like 84, 85, but in 87 we actually ran candidates for what was then called the Burlington Board of Older Men, Older Men. Right now it's called, they changed it to City Council. So I ran um, and got, got a pretty big vote uh, for, for getting onto the City Council. Uh, so another person from the Burlington Greens actually ran to be mayor of Burlington and um, did fairly well. So th that's, so we've been working along actively within Burlington and it just, it, um, trying to have a democratic groups meeting. Uh, Burlington has a neighborhood, we, because of all kinds of people, there have been Burlington neighborhood assemblies instituted in Burlington. So people do, there are like six wards or seven, and people do li meet on the ward level in their, in their neighborhood planning assemblies and are able to, to talk about things and do things. And so the, 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 fi the uh, activist fights in Burlington continue where we are trying to um, keep control of our own city and the, the latest thing that, that's happened is that um, Burlington has, you know, I mean, Burlington has 40,000 people and it basically has zoning laws that, that because it has zoning laws that uh, right now are only permitted um, uh, the buildings to be seven stories high. And of course, because Burlington is such a decent place, people come in, uh, builders come in trying to take it away from us. So the latest fight, that's, this is a leaflet from the latest fight. It's not exactly accurate, so I'm not giving out the copies. They've redone it. But it's the fight about, they're calling it the mauling of Burlington, where they're trying to make bigger and bigger malls within the city and trying to change the character of the city by changing the zoning, uh, getting the zoning board to change the zoning where instead of being that you're allowed to build seven stories high, you've got to build four, to be allowed to build 14 stories high. So anyway, it's, it's just a continuing fight for being able to control your locality and once you control your locality and have and, and set up a material basis too, which which really means a, a local economy, a more what we use what we call a moral economy, and actually food basis slowly food basis manufacturing basis all the things that people need to live that hopefully from that kind of building block from the that's what Murray called libertarian municipalism. From the building blocks, from the bottom up, municipalities confederate with each other, the confederations confederate, and the upper confederations. And so it's a kind of governance from the bottom to the top instead of from the top down. And to me, and it can take years, it can take decades. Well, change takes decades, you know, for these things. You know, took decades before the French Revolution happened. Uh, things, so the, the, the idea is that you build this democratic and uh, material uh, form of, uh, of government from the bottom up and, and then, and, and finally make them more centralized, but it's coming from the bottom up and that is one way to change the current system and do away with capitalism. So that's, that's that. <laughs>